Hey y'all and welcome back for another video. So I have been diligently working on my product stash and I was like, hold on, let me just give the girls a full product stash video. The video that I said y'all were never getting. <laughs> Here we are. Definitely enjoy it and just know that it started off as a vlog, but I was like, let me just make this a dedicated video to pretty much showcase my products. So stay tuned. I hope y'all do enjoy. Be sure to subscribe if you do enjoy my content and come back for more videos. So on that note, I will see y'all in the next clip. Okay, bye. These products, girl, they are real, real old. Like this Garnier. I bet y'all remember when I did this one. It did work well though, however. Trash, trash, trash. And my issue is, I'm not gonna look at it, cause once I look, I get the second thinking like, well, mm -mm. This was actually, my friend gave it to me, but, mm -mm. see? Y'all see how that looks? And the consistency is like milk. And I feel like as a deep conditioner, it should not be. So that's trash. example so these products my sea moss curls collection I was like let me go first let me look on the back and see what it says but on my youtube channel I, girl a whole y'all can see that a whole review child a whole entire dedicated review definitely says one year ago so let me just see let me just see what the comments say it just says one year ago mm. I thought it showed the date. Oh, here we go. April 2022. March. April. Girl, we in. <laughs> I'm over here counting the months. Girl, we about to be in 2024. So. I think I'm going to have to toss this, y'all. Let me see. Ooh. Ciao. It's gone. It's gone. Mmm. Yeah, so literally, we got on my nose. Literally, what I was talking about. That's a prime example, child. Prime example. So let me move y'all back. Oh, y'all can see. I'm gonna go on this side now. I'm actually going to also be probably putting some things to the side to give away. Like this, I actually did a campaign on. I did a comparison between this styler and this styler. Battle of the stylers. I'll link that below from Instagram. So y'all check that out. But for the campaign, they actually sent me two of these. So this one is brand new, unused. So I'm gonna give this one away because as you can see, probably won't be using both of them in its entirety before the expiration date. So move that. Y'all remember when I put these post office things in here? <laughs> they still holding strong. So I'm actually gonna move my curl mix up. So all of these products, actually I can show y'all on YouTube as well. Let me see. A year ago too, but let me see what date. Girl, stop playing with me. February <laughs> 2022. And at this point, I had already used the products. So girl, ooh, I hate to let them go, but it's okay. Out with the old, in with the new. Actually, I might do a, um, I may do a reel or something about throwing away your old products. So let me just keep these right here. This perfect clean nature lab, mm, I ain't really love it. 
Like, it wasn't nothing to write home about. So, I'm going to just put that to the side. Curls, I feel like I have other curls products that I do back there. So, the idea is to mix, or match, not mix. Match all the light products together. Girl, Uncle Funky's daughter is holding, coming in strong. Okay, got a whole block. For Mish, I definitely need to use... I need to get more of her deep conditioners, but the way my products are set up, I don't need to be getting nobody's products because I got enough. So that's that. Flora and Curl, I feel like I can toss some of their stuff. Let me see. Um, 12 months. So between emails and, con and um, content, I feel like I'm good on figuring out when the stuff was shipped to me let's see this is from January 2023 so I'm actually good on these so let me put them back there is a product that I don't really care for is this one this curl refresh conditioner I'm like mm. so I'm gonna just slide that down to the trash because I'm like what's the point I used to be like oh maybe I can like use it again blah blah, blah. girl bye this actually do like, it doesn't smell the greatest, the Twist and Braid Cream. Focus. Yeah, this is from Floor and Curl. I don't like the scent, but I do like the quality of it for like a twist out, flat twist, that type of thing. Oh, this is a pattern product. This product. Oh, the treatment mask. So, I need to try the treatment mask, girl. I forgot. See, this is what I'm talking about. I forgot it was in here. I love these cream of natures. I just be feeling like I wash my hair every week. Okay, hey girl. So I wash my hair every week. Okay, lighting, lighting. I wash my hair every week, but I just feel like it's not enough weeks for me to use all my products. Like this week I am, even though I have my hair stretched, I could just style it, but my scalp is a little irritated and I have had my hair washed for a week so it is time um, to wash my hair but I'm just like today for instance it's so many products to choose from I'm like what am I gonna choose and how <laughs> how but Trey Lux girl is giving this video is review and talk through my products with me so I don't know if this is gonna be in a vlog or a whole separate thing but let's get into it Trey Lux they gifted me these products they're curl renew and restore soothe and restore line so it's a deep conditioner shampoo which they call their gentle cleansing rinse defining mousse and a leave-in conditioner i did a wash day actually this wash day that i'm wearing now i use the cleansing rinse and the deep conditioner i can't remember who hit me up on um socials i feel like my lips is dry y'all y'all won't go tell me i feel like the um who was i talking about oh someone asked me about deep conditioner that doesn't have a scent that's a good deep conditioner and I feel like this one could be number one in the in the lineup because I love scents so I wasn't like thrown away by it but I felt like my hair did feel good afterwards but again I love scents I love like the tea tree peppermint oils and so for me I probably won't run to grab this one again like immediately but I will use it up the cleansing rinse though not so much like I felt like it was too thin I don't know if it's the ingredients or if that's like supposed to be what it is but key ingredients are slippery elm and coconut milk so not much of a lather at all like on a scale of one to ten probably like a three <laughs> three out of ten on lather it wasn't it also doesn't have a scent i guess their whole line is fragrance free yeah so mm. I wasn't too impressed to be honest. Now I did not use the mousse and I haven't used the leave-in. So I'm definitely planning. This was going to be my lineup for my wash and go. But then my ends were like no. Nah. So maybe I'll run this back very soon. But the way that the conditioner and the shampoo didn't really wow me. I mean let me take that back. The conditioner was good. But remember the scent is why I'm not wowed. So I'm going to put this down on the bottom. Like I try to put my products most used at the top or if it's something that i want to use soon i'll put it at the top this one trey lux since i've already used it and i'm not too pressed to grab it again anytime 
immediately I'm going to put this at the bottom down here. Briogeo still holding it down. Let me show y'all. In this little corner. This is actually Carol's daughter. But clearly love this one. Y'all see how it's like right here. <laughs> this is the Briogeo Scout Revival Detox Shampoo. I love this for wash day to help break up the buildup. And then I also use the exfoliating shampoo. Which I actually have coming up on an empty. So this is my second one. I don't think this one has been open. Yeah, this is brand new. So I'm definitely about to open this one soon. Just because I love like this duo. I put this on my scalp. And then I put this on the length of my hair. So those have been a bop. And then... Sorry if y'all hear my chair. Y'all know I got this old school rolling chair in here. But the Rice Amino and Avocado Leave-In Conditioning Mask. Their whole line, I feel like I haven't tried. Did I try the shampoo? I don't remember trying the shampoo. So I don't think I've tried the shampoo yet. But I had the shampoo. The leave-in cream is actually really good. And the control gel. I think I did the control gel, gel in like a twist out. I believe. Two strand twist, I mean. Not twist out. And I did like it. Like it stayed very um, well put, girl. Not pattern being over here. See, I had pattern and pattern for spots. And that's why I'm here today to organize my stuff. Y'all know the Briogeo Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture is a 3-in-1. Don't really care for it. Let me show y'all up close. But they did replenish it. So, again, this one will probably be in my giveaway stash. Don't Despair Repair Rice Water Protein and Moisture Strengthening Treatment. I actually have not used this yet. But I am interested to see what it does. After shampooing, ring hair of excess water and apply treatment evenly throughout damp hair leave-in for 10 minutes or overnight. And then it says to rinse out and then apply the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioner. The first time I used this product, I was not impressed at all. Um, <laughs> it made my hair too hard and it did not put any moisture back in it. But maybe I'll do a protein treatment. It says to use weekly. So we'll see. I don't need that much protein in my hair. So I probably won't use it weekly. I kind of like this spot for Briogeo though. Because I do reach for her often. Farewell though. The Frizz. Farewell. Line for blowouts. Girl. This has been my girl. Like, stop playing with her. Stop playing with her. So, yeah, that's my Briogeo line um, for the most part. I do have some other Briogeo products. Like, this one is a scalp mask. So, in addition to the exfoliant and the um, length of my hair detox shampoo, you can do a scalp mask. And so, that one also, like that whole Briogeo scalp revival line is top tier. I really enjoy it. Like if I had to choose or rank them, I would do the Scalp Revival, then I would do the Curl Charisma. I'm sorry. Scalp Revival, Farewell Frizz, Curl Charisma, and then the Don't Despair Repair will be last for me. If y'all want to see a dedicated video on any of these products, please leave a comment down below. This is a hydrating leave-in conditioner from Sephora. I used it once for that collab and then I just never gravitated towards it again, but not to say that I didn't enjoy it, because I did. And then I'm going to add Camille Rose right here. So, Camille Rose, I have the Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Y'all know what's funny? Like, hold on, I got to turn y'all around. Girl. Not me saying I'm not going to do a full product video, and here we are. I think it was the presentation of it. Like, this is much chill, not as formal. You know what I mean? Just kind of like, bring y'all along with me type of thing in its raw form. So, I think this is much better than me, like getting dressed and doing all the things child so that's why we're here i just had to show up throw a disclaimer because i just thought about it like mm, pretty sure this is a review <laughs> of everything on your stash but the camille rose almond jai twisting butter i actually did enjoy um i think this is a new one yeah this is a brand new one so i need to hurry up and open this one though because i feel like i bought this last year for black friday and it's about to be this year black friday so yeah i'm gonna put this up here and then I showed y'all the curl maker. Definitely going to use that. This is my sign to not buy no more products. Because what? This one I just had in my bathroom. So I do enjoy using that. 
Is that all of my Camille Rose? I don't know why I thought I had more. Pattern, the leave-ins, y'all know. Love them. Love them down in the packaging. It's just so, it's everything to me. This leave-in, girl, for twist. Talk to me nice. Like, love it. I have a video on my um, Instagram about that. And then this leave-in conditioner. I don't know if I've shown y'all this one, but I did enjoy it as well. The mousse, I don't know. The mousse is still growing on me. Like, I'm going to just leave it at that. The mousse is still growing on me. Thankfully, this is a travel size. So, I'll use it again eventually and kind of see if I like it. I say, don't I have the treatment mask? And then I also have the treatment mask, which I'm very excited to use. So, my little pattern stash is growing up. Okay. Okay. And the newest product there, Deep Scalp Detox. Really, really enjoy this. Especially if you have protective styles a lot or low maintenance, like two strand twist, flat twist, that type of thing. Like today, I can actually put it on my scalp. Matter of fact, let me put it up here now because. I have, oh, it feels so good. It's so cold, too. Ooh. Yes. It just kind of breaks up that buildup and debris. And then you don't have to rinse it out immediately. Like, you could use it as a pre-shampoo. Ooh, it just feels so good. You could use it as a pre-shampoo, but you don't have to. And when I say it feels good, more so, it's just cool. Like, it's not a cooling sensation. It's not like you can feel the tea tree tingling, none of that. But it's just so, ooh. I love it. All right, so let me put that down. We making progress. Oh, I don't think I showed y'all the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair um, Serum. This one was supposed to be like consistently used on my edges. It's kind of hard to get out now, so I was debating on if I wanted to put it in my empties pal or if I wanted to do this <laughs> and use it still. Girl, this might be an empties because at this point, it's definitely giving empty. But I actually enjoyed this for my um, edges. It has caffeine and biotin peptide for density, so it's supposed to help with growth. Yeah, let me add this to my empties. By the way, y'all, just want to make it known that my empties stash, shout out to Minx Kinks, my girl, she inspired me to keep going. Like, y'all know I fill up my little bag and I'm like, all right, let me do a video. But this time, the bag is overflowing, child. Stuff on the floor, stuff on the table. Like, I have a whole separate stash of natural hair empties. So I'm going to do two separate videos, but... I just have so many products, so I'm adding this to my natural hair one and continuing through. So, love that for me because I haven't done an empties with natural hair only in a while. So, I'm going to turn y'all back around. We are down here now on these products. So, let's get into it. TGIN is always bad. Like, you don't know. Now you know. This is my go-to detangler. I don't know why I said it like that. But I've been using that for ever. Like this is probably my fourth one. I'm not even going to hold you. So I go through it quick. Like not quick but I use it very frequently. Did I not put. Oh this is the same curls from before. This one I'll probably keep. But I honestly wasn't like thrilled about it. I honestly don't really know if it served the purpose that it says. But it's a scalp balancing rinse. I feel like. It's more of a neutralizing type thing. So like if your scalp is irritated a lot and you just need to rinse and neutralize it, it's just sake water and rice water. So again, nothing to run home to from Nature Lab. And then this is actually their Style Refresher Spray I have not used yet. So I need to figure out. It's a big clump of product at the bottom. I don't know about this. It's a big clunk at the bottom. <laughs> at the bottom, so we shall see. Um, Kalita Naturals. I did enjoy these products. I actually used up all of their deep conditioner. I have another one in here though. But this is the shampoo. I haven't used it in a while though. We died. Yes. Let me get the other. Um, 
Where's the other we got right here? This duo is amazing. Like, I love it. I have a picture that I'll put on the screen of when I used it. Amazing results. Like, 10 out of 10. These are edge controls, which I feel like I want to put my edge controls somewhere else. So I use them often. By the way, if you haven't heard of Braid Lux, they have a really good edge controls. This is the SIM Double Buttercream. Girl, I just found the video from 133 weeks ago. I'm going to toss that because that means I really had it probably 233 weeks at this point. This is kind of already good. Cream of Nature, Ajwa Beauty, Four and Curl. I'll keep all of those right there. And Bond Bar. I haven't used my Bond Bar yet. Ajwa Beauty. Love this deep conditioner like hands down one of my favorites the bow mint I actually just got it out of my shower it smells so good oh, and they give you so much now this one is a strong scent it does have winter green spearmint and peppermint oils and you can smell them very very they're very potent not on your scalp as much but in like just in general you can smell them a lot so if you are not a moisture girl definitely don't get those the dew I feel like I had another product, but maybe not. This is their defining gel. I may try to use this, but I also want to use my curl mix. I don't know. It looks like you can use it for as a one product styler though. <clears throat> it says it fights frizz and humidity, no crunch or flaking, wash and goes, twist and braid outs. So I don't know. We might use that soon. The design me. This one I'm actually gonna put in my empties. This one is literally empty. Maybe I have like a half of a use left but this is this is girl like this is my it says your curls best friends I mean your curls best friend and I believe that hands down this is really good it's a curl balm I found some pictures to share with y'all wash and goes are magnificent with that product girl this product this Carol's daughter I love I'm actually gonna put this in my empties too because I'm about to throw it away but I want to tell y'all how good it is amazing like amazing it smells good it says infuses natural shine and you can really see the shine when you finish washing your hair for dry dull and brittle hair mine isn't brittle um but it does help to bring that moisture back in so if you need a moisturizing shampoo definitely grab this like i keep this in my shower nine times out of ten so if i'm trying a new shampoo or whatever and i know that it may not work for me this is always my backup so love that so the For You by Tia line, I did get all of their products. I did try them all as well. I'll put a picture up. Girl, I got a lot of pictures to put up, so forgive me if I forget. <laughs> but the shampoo, the moisturizing shampoo, lightweight conditioner, leave-in curl cream, curl defining gel, like literally everything. Curl refresher, mist. This has flaxseed and Hemi 15, but it wasn't giving what it should have gave like yeah this is going to the bottom of my shelf <laughs> I probably will pick it up again the moisturizer shampoo and the like it's bulging out of the top the mo moisturizing shampoo and the lightweight conditioner don't really have like a pleasing scent it doesn't stink but it's not like oh this smells good you know what I mean it's more like a neutral unfragranced sense if that makes sense but yeah I wasn't too pleased I also was rushing when I was styling like to head out so I think that might also have something to do with the results but nonetheless I will be running it back and I did film actually so I think it was the video when I was like um I hope the camera's still rolling y'all remember that <laughs> I hope the camera's still rolling Girl, that video had me weak because I was really in there singing the song that I made up. Um, but that this is the product that I used in that video. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna put these down here with my Mio products. I have the camera still rolling. Oh, this mist, this curl refresher mist, girl, bye. Mm -mm. <laughs> it just didn't hit the mark for me, but let me go through Male Organics. 
So I told y'all about the rosemary mint hair mask already. But like I used it a, a minute ago, like a long, long time ago and actually loved it. But I haven't used it in a while, so I'm excited to run it back. This whole line, the prom pomegranate and honey, when I first, first went natural, I actually used that souffle from this line. Loved it down, but I had never tried the other products. So shout out to my girl. She had bought these for, she said Black Friday. So it's also coming up on a year, but these products were literally under her cabinet. She has switched to Innocence. No, not Innocence. I'm blanking on the brand. It starts with the A. But anywho, so she had stopped using all of her Mia products and so literally loaded me down when I went to visit her. So the shampoo I have enjoyed. I also have the conditioner. Oh, right here. I'm gonna say I thought I brought it in here. Which I love this. And it's also a detangler too. So pre-poo is a really good product to use for that as well. Curl Smith. Some of my Curl Smith. The Inst Shower Style Fixer still love that to death. It does give you a crunch. Like the hole says 10. Expect all of it. But once you break it up with the bonding oil, it literally gives you, like it creates that cast on your curls. And so you really have definition, shine, no frizz. Like I love it. But the, day one is going to give you stiff. So you have to make sure you dry it completely and then you break the cast. If you're not a crunchy girl, I wouldn't recommend it though. So hopefully you're picking up what I'm putting down. This full body thickening lotion, y'all know I have thick hair already, so not really the best for my hair needs, but I'm going to keep her in my stash in case I ever need to use her. Dude, this one I'm tossing. This is from Nefertiti's, Nefertiti Secrets. The complete hydration conditioner is expired at this point. Also, their shampoo, but I love their gel. I actually gave it, um, my sister-in-law has it. And but I love that gel like I would definitely repurchase their aloe gel it just it does it for me this brand's royal Versage. I also need to use up let me see how much is in here I actually have a good amount in here so oh and I have a good amount of that jelly I thought it was another product from her it is right here the styling cream girl I keep dropping everything <laughs> The styling cream. Um, this is really good. It is small on business and the owner, I forgot where she's from, but she is a cousin, okay? Oh, this is from Curlbox. That's why I couldn't find that can too. So let me see if I can, girl, I'm pressed to find this can too. Now, which month? If you get curl box, if you used to get curl box subscriptions, child. Let's see. 414 was my last box. Dang, it don't tell you what's in it. Hmm. But I feel like this was in my last box. Ooh. That means I need to throw it away, child. Well, let me go in and toss it. I ain't even use this shampoo. Mm. No, it says. Yeah, it's, she's a goner. This is kind of sad, Loki. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I didn't even get a chance to use you. Let me see. April. Mm. I don't know, I'm gonna try to look. <laughs> now I'll be trying to negotiate. I'm gonna try to keep this. April. So that's what, four months old? Well, child, five months at this point, but it still looks okay. I, I don't know. I think I didn't really get to get into it like I wanted to. So that's why I'm like, oh, let me just keep it. Oils, I feel like, don't expire. Does it say 12 months? <laughs> and it does. <laughs> let me just give it a sniff test. <laughs> Girl, we gonna keep that too. <laughs> Now I be being a hypocrite telling y'all to throw y'all stuff out and I'm over here keeping my stuff. Girl, I cannot. It's coming together, so. This is y'all sign to clean out y'all products. I try to do this. I'm not even gonna say I have a schedule. It's really whenever I feel inclined to, but 
when it starts to get bad or I'm like, all right, I need to clean out space, this is when I usually do it. These products are good for, I won these in a giveaway from Curls, following a protective style. So this is to actually style your hair, a braid in conditioner. So perfect for prepping. Y'all know I do most of my protective styles. So perfect. And then soothing and cooling scalp potion is also really good too. Nature's Little Secret. Mm. I've talked about it before on my channel. I haven't tried the Irish styling cream, but the okra curl defining cream gel, I mean, flakes like crazy for me. So we're going to just tuck those right there. I need to grab my Baskin Bloom, y'all. Love me some Baskin Bloom. Down, baby. Love Baskin Bloom. This moisture cream, perfect name for it. Like the moisture that it brings. Uh may zing their leave-in conditioner is good this is their actual cleanser now the cleanser i don't really remember much about so it wasn't bad because i would have remembered that but i don't feel like it was amazing either oh, i forgot to show y'all this from the curls line this is the protect me edge styling pomade so more so for like when i do box braids senegalese twists that type of thing i'll use that product so Thank y'all so much for tuning in to today's impromptu video, product haul, stash, that type of thing, my collective. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know if there are any products that y'all did see that y'all want me to do a full dedicated video to. I got you. Just let me know. Um, other than that, if you have not already subscribed and you do enjoy natural hair, lifestyle, vlogs, pharmacy, all the things, try on hauls, definitely click that subscribe button and join the fam. We have a good time over here, okay? So I'll see you guys on my next one.